Hello everyone, I am Andrea Keefe, the Meetings and Events Coordinator with IPC. I'm very excited to kick off today's webinar on IPC Apex Expo 2019 Technical Conference Review. It's important to note that today's webinar is being recorded and will be sent to you via email a few business days concluding this webinar. If you have any questions during today's webinar, please send them using the control panel on the right hand side of your screen. If we have time at the end of the webinar, we will go through the questions and answers at that time. Today, I am pleased to welcome Jasbir Bath with IPC to be our featured speaker. So Jasbir, thank you so much for being here. I'll now turn it over to you. Thank you, Andrea. Hello, I'm Jasbir Bath from IPC. I'm the technical conference uh, director uh, for, the, for the APEX. Um, this is my email address in case there's any questions. Just go to the next slide. I move to the next slide. So the agenda today, we will cover the different parts of the uh, conference, uh, the technical conference sessions, as well as the bus sessions. There's uh, different uh, parts of the technical conference. Uh, we have PCB fabrication sessions, uh, assembly and reliability sessions, print electronic sessions, other sessions which we'll cover, some of the design conference sessions, as well as buzz sessions, and those buzz sessions are free sessions for the audiences. So in terms of PCB fabrication sessions, uh, this is uh, companies who are presenting in these sessions. Uh, we have SO2 session, SO2 PCB fabrication plating session one. Um, this will cover uh, a novel plating, uh, one-step plating system to produce uh, copper-filled microvias, including copper pillars on IC substrates. We'll also review solutions to meet required uh, via wall plating while achieving planar coverage on feature, service features on IC substrates. We'll also review two common techniques to fabricate recessed cavities, uh, laser and mechanical round aid in PCBs, and look at the effectiveness advantages of novel techniques, uh, optical OCC, OCMM for measuring and evaluating their integrity. So that's the uh, PCB fabrication session one. Uh, session two, looks at the acceptance uh, looks at the acceptance criteria and reconsiders it for uh, criteria for nodules and other abnormalities on PCB wire bond pads which have become restrictive as wire bond pad sizes have shrunk shrunk uh, this will be a DOE on this area we'll also have two papers on uh, modified semi additive processes one will describe catalyst technology to overcome challenges with sputtering or palladium based catalytic processes we'll also have a uh, a paper on uh, electrolysis plating processes preventing uh, plating buildup or panel after electrolysis plating. Uh, companies will also cover. We have a couple of sessions on surface finishes, uh, S10 PCB service finishes one. Uh, companies include Aditec, Rogers, Willutry, and Avritech. Uh, the uh, we'll look at reviewing of uh, surface treatments enabling low temperature soldering to aluminum on polyester flex substrates. We'll also look at a novel uh, e-make uh, service finish for high reliability applications with uh, more tendency to reduce a black pad issue. We'll also review impact of different uh, plated finishes, uh, bare copper, OSP, immersion silver, immersion tin, ENIPEG and ENIG on insertion loss for high frequency PCBs. So this will be covered in, the, in this session S10. In S23, the second uh, surface finishes session, we'll also review another uh, high performance uh, ENIG uh, finish for improved reliability in terms of good solder joint strength as well as uh, resistance to black pad. We'll also be a paper on uh, evaluation of solderability after steaming of ENIG and EPIG service finishes. Uh, Electrolysis uh, palladium immersion gold service finishes, comparing those two finishes after steam aging and solubility testing. 
We'll also look at surface finish reliability and also uh, creep corrosion and gold brush plating repair in this S36 session. Uh, companies presenting include Nokia, IBM, Northrop Grumman. Uh, there'll be a, a paper on reviewing the effects of dust deposition on reliability electronic equipment by optimizing uh, cooling airflow patterns. We'll review developments uh, by Virai and Emi in terms of uh, flowers of sulfur uh, test methods for creep corrosion testing. We'll also review a method to repair solar contaminated uh, fl uh, flange uh, flag connector contacts with brushed gold. We'll also have a session in terms of the PCB uh, uh, laminate reliability in terms of uh, microvial reliability. Uh, companies include Motorola and FTG uh, presenting in the session. Uh, looking at the uh, questions on copper wrap uh, plating thickness and how thickness may relate to the reliability uh, with factors such as process materials and design factors taken into consideration. We'll also be discussing the relative reliability of uh, uh, stacked microvias. Uh, there's some, you know, some issues in this area with analysis of uh, microvia structure from different uh, PWB suppliers. This will cover the uh, microvia session and PCB reliability session. Also, there's a, a session in terms of failure analysis. Uh, this will kind of concentrate more on the uh, PCB as well as some PCBA side. We'll look at uh, x ray and 3D images. Uh, how they can solve some of the problems that we may get in terms of uh, inspecting for defects on bare boards incoming, not just on the assemblies themselves. We'll also be a uh, case study looking at step-by-step -step analysis of a uh, defected uh, oxide residue issue, electrical issue with, and basically going through that in terms of a full-scale uh, failure analysis de uh, design evaluation to look at what, what, where the failures were occurring. Um, we're also looking at uh, laminate materials, high-speed, high-frequency materials. Uh, S27 Oracle, ATNS will present in these sessions. S27 will discuss, discuss uh, HD project test results in terms of several test methods for measuring DK and DF, including results of the effects of copper surface reference and topography. Uh, we'll also look at the uh, st uh, study on the uh, effect of moisture absorption into high-speed laminates with test methods, various test methods uh, looked at. We'll also look at uh, antenna and package technology and demonstrate it will be described with impact of manufacturing materials on S-parameter modeling and insertion laws. We've got sessions on PCB laminates. We'll also be looking at uh, assembly and reliability sessions, which are general reliability sessions. So in this, we have companies such as Indium, FCT Assembly, Vitronics, Robert Bosch. Uh, we have two sessions here where we describe on this slide. One is our solid paste reliability one, where we review the fluxes to suppress non wet opens during BJ assembly. We'll also be reviewing, uh, you know, whether a PCB with a no clean solder paste can have the similar electrical reliability as a clean PCBA. That's part of SO8 session. S19 is going to look at oxidation resistant nano copper uh, sintering paste for diatach. Uh, we'll also review the effects of solar powder size, type 4, 5, 6, and 7, type 3, 4, 5, and 6 on solar paste performance. The third session in this reliability area is on uh, S24 is looking at management of material outgassing in the reflow oven. We'll also review outgassing behavior of uh, SMT flux residue during flow soldering. We'll also be looking at uh, low temperature alloys, tin bismuth type alloys. We have companies such as Shenmao, Alpha, Assembly, Nihon Superior, and Flex presenting. Uh, one of the papers will be reviewing three different low temperature tin bismuth based solders for SMT assembly, and they'll be looking at mechanical drop test as well as thermal cycling behavior. There'll also be a paper looking at um, a low temperature tin bismuth paste uh, lead-free lead solder alloy based on thermal mechanical reliability testing as well as mechanical performance. Uh, the second session on low temperature alloys will review uh, a low temperature solder assembly comparison by 
manufacturing and reliability testing, including bend and thermal cycling, of three different uh, low temperature tin bismuth based lead free solder material paste materials. And, and then the last uh, presentation or the last paper in this session will review how you optimize solder paste volume for low temperature reflow of tin silver copper BGAs with low temperature tin bismuth based. Uh, let free solder paste by referral to phase diagrams of experimental information. It's also part of assembly. We're looking at um, assembly inspection. So companies involved will be Indium, Ericsson, Plex, Seho Systems, and ASM assembly. Assembly inspection, looking at uh, BTC, bottom termination components, and BGAs. We'll be looking at the physics of voiding and how to create optimal bottom termination DPAC uh, solder joints. Also, we'll be discussing the limitations of x-rays to detect head and pillow defects uh, in assembled BGSM packages. The S29 session will be looking at uh, assembly emerging technologies as well as printing. We'll review some of the challenges associated with assembling uh, bare, ultra fine pitch bare die assembly using legacy SMT manufacturing uh, equipment. We'll also look at uh, innovative reflow process research on application of, 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 of direct application of heat to solder joint materials in the assembly. And the final uh, part of this uh, pay, uh, session will be looking at printing and assembly uh, tuning for processing of O2 one metric passive components. We'll also have a session on cleaning. Um, this will involve uh, cleaning as well as conformal coating on the next slide. We have STI Electronics, Kaizen, Zestron, Dimex, BA Systems, and Nordson presenting. The cleaning session will look at cleanliness, uh, reliability verification validation by uh, electrochemical reliability test methods to look at cleanliness levels on components, materials, and assemblies. We'll also have a a presentation paper on reviewing a, a five-step methodology for developing clean process parameters. And the final uh, paper in this session will look at evaluations of uh, wash temperature, defluxing temperature, high temperatures in terms of cleanliness and cleaning under low standoff component cleaning. The conformal coating session will look at a uh, high-performance light and moisture dual curable uh, conformal coating for automotive and other high reliability applications. We'll also be looking at automated conformal coating of uh, a process or the a DOE to look at that in terms of automated conformal coatings using polyurethane material. Uh, we'll review air assisted atomization uh, for improved coating uh, conformal coating quality during automotive processing. We have two sessions on test and inspection. The companies include uh, presenting will include Focal Spec, Orbitec, ATD Solutions, Ingen, and Acronyme. We'll be reviewing line conformal technology, which characterizes uh, 3D features of various surfaces at the, and, uh, at the submicron resolution, looking at etched PCBs, conductive inks, in uh, case studies looking at uh, conductive inks and print electronics, as well as 3D imaging of adhesive dots and lines. The second uh, presentation will look at uh, how to ensure the quality of high frequency PCB materials, looking at how to resolve uh, challenges of pure contrast on these high frequency low decay as part of the AOI inspection process. Second um, test and inspection. Uh, session SO9, session SO9 will look at recreating reusable manufacturing tests for high speed IO with synthetic instruments using uh, FPGA to implement the test instruments. We'll be reviewing uh, the RF probing challenges for functional testing in IoT and 5G applications. We'll also be looking at use of uh, FCT functional tests with low cost, fully integrated um, fixtures. We'll also be looking at uh, reliability embedded components, power electronics, thermal modeling. Companies include AT&S, ACI Technologies, and MITEC. 
Uh, we'll cover advances in terms of uses of then battery dye components for improved reliability, power, and thermal characteristics. We'll also be looking at development work on a new type of cool plate design, uh, looking at cooling efficiency and thermal modeling for this. The Reliability 2 session will look, look at uh, BGA and compliant pin reliability uh, during uh, severity experience during transportation of products and material handling processes. And it will be dependence and look at the dependence on design variables and stresses. We'll also be looking at reliability of aircraft de-icing systems and assessments of systems and selection criteria uh, for the suitability of results of targeted tests. Uh, we'll also have a dispensing session, companies included, will be Dow, Chemical, Henkel, Kuiritsu Chemical. Uh, we'll be looking at, as we as it mentioned, the category of materials increasing in terms of conductive materials. Uh, we'll discuss the trade-offs and precision uh, for small volume dispensing of solder paste materials. We'll also review uh, methodologies used to dispense conductive materials used for EMI shielding of components. For adhesives and silicones, uh, we designers are increasing use of these kind of polymer materials to, for the function of the devices. We'll discuss the materials are needed, uh, increasing more challenging performance or optical performance in both the refractive and as well as reliability and application. We'll also discuss results of power cycling tests and the effects of thermal performance for silicone greases. And we'll describe the influence of uh, performance and effects of fillers and thermal conductive adhesives. So we have four printed electronic sessions at the conference. There's various companies, organizations involved presenting these uh, areas, Georgia Tech, Tacto Tech, Georgia Institute of Technology, MAS Holdings, Flex, United Technologies, Henkel, and Jabel. Uh, SO6, Print Electronics 1, will discuss wireless, flexible hybrid electronics for uh, seamless recording of electroemphysemograms and universal brain machine interfaces. We're also looking at uh, technology to integrate and encapsulate print electronics and standard components within uh, durable 3D injection molded plastics to create smart molded structures. So that's the SO6 session. S12 session, we'll look at Integration of 3D printing and inject printing technologies to fabricate monolithic microwaves with performance of fully additive manufacturers, manufactured antennas demonstrated. We'll also be looking at uh, a bladder inflation method, bladder inflation method to evaluate stretchability performance of wearable devices, simulate human movements, uh, covering with uh, electrical uh, experimental and critical data correlating the resistance of the printed conductive ink with multi-axial strains. We'll also review development of conductive uh, circuits for e-textiles with required electrical performance and good mechanical properties. So the third session, S17, will look at materials and process for fabrication of printed and flexible electronics. We'll also be detailing common printing processes including their capabilities and limitations and we'll describe the performance of specific printed flexible electronic devices in this session. Uh, we will describe an S22 uh, design and fabrication process, approaches based on the combination of silicon and printed electronic components for medical and wearable devices in this session. We have other sessions as well. Uh, one is on environmental, we have companies including Clagan Environmental and Dassault Systems. So there are, the first uh, presentation in this session will be on new substances, endocrine, disruption chemicals, and persistent organic pollutants. These are facing regulation in EU and other directives, ROHS and other directives. So we'll re review the human risk from these materials as well as an outlook on the effects that this will have on electronics in terms of increased reporting requirements uh, and restrictions. Review, we'll also review the challenges of environmental regulations requirements in gathering necessary substance search data for data for substances of concern in ROHS and other legislation. We'll be just discuss IBC 17 uh, 5X 
and the IEC 6240, uh, 62474 family of standards that could be potentially be global standards for all sectors of the electronics community. The S35 session will be looking at smart manufacturing industry 4.0 and software manufacturing tools. Companies presenting will include Siemens and Optimal Plus. Review digital twin to optimize offline, online physical products to enable industry 4.0 in manufacturing. We discuss, so discuss examples of simulating production processes uh, quickly uh, with the use of digital prototypes at early stages. This will help to reduce lead times, time to market, and produce cost savings. We'll also discuss electronic board defect classification detection with deep learning, which is a subfield of machine learning, with a case study on automated visual inspection of defect images on boards. As well as those sessions, we have a uh, design sessions. Uh, these will be on Wednesday of Apex Week. Companies presenting so far will be Northrop Grumman, Semicon Electronic. We have three presentation sessions or design sessions so far. Uh, S16 will cover additive manufacturing, 3D printing, and uh, PCB fabrication assembly. So to cover case studies in this area. We also have an S21 session on high-speed and high-frequency laminate materials used in uh, design. S26 will cover electrical and thermomechanical design constraints affecting system and component performance. As well as the conference sessions and the design sessions, all those sessions, we have uh, both sessions. These are both sessions will be free to attend. Uh, they'll cover different subjects, conformal coding, round robin, final report. We'll also have a survey on the future of lead-free in uh, high reliability applications uh, conducted by PERM. And this will, the, the, the session will cover the results of an industry survey in this area. We'll also have a buzz session on e-textiles. We'll also have a, a session on Thursday uh, from 8 o'clock till 2 o'clock on Thursday on, it'll be a workshop on INEMI Next Generation Solder Materials. We'll also have a buzz session on shoring up the U.S. defense electronics industry base. We'll also have a session on IPC 2581, enabling Industry 4.0. And then we'll also have a session on PCB technology trends in terms of highlights of a, from a new IPC study. Just going into the details of the INEMI workshop, for next generation solar materials, the workshop will cover presentations as well as uh, breakout sessions in different areas. So the aim of the, per the workshop will be to update new and future plans of solar materials development in the industry, understand possibility and reliability challenges encountered when we adopt new solar materials, discuss actions to be done to improve yield and quality, communicate INEMI and other solar technology uh, related project outputs, provide inputs to roadmaps regarding challenges for industry, identify potential collaborative op project opportunities to streamline technology development and deployment in the industry. This is the slides I have, so I will look to see if there's any questions. Is there any questions online? If there's any questions you can put in, um, type it in, I can look there. Andrea, any questions online? Nope, not that I see. And um, we will be providing your email address within the post event webinar email. So if anyone does have any questions, you can communicate directly with Jasbier. Yeah, my, my email address is on the uh, first slide as well. So if there's any questions on specific sessions, et cetera, just email me and we'll provide these uh, slides after the presentation, after, afterwards. All right, great. Well, thank you everyone and thank you, Jeff. Oh, it looks like one just came through. Okay. Um, yes, the presentation is gonna be available um, after this. We will send it actually two days after the webinar today.
we're at the moment at the moment now we're just at the process of reviewing presentations and papers so they're coming in and it's coming along so i would say the the conference uh, subjects and things are coming along pretty well um let's see who will be delivering the keynote address during apex I can give you that information. Can you provide that? I think there's, two, there's at least one. I think there's two keynotes. There'll be, there was a press release just on that. Um, I think someone from, someone from Tesla. But there's a press release on that. Just recently we'll provide the information. Yeah. It's going to be JB Straubel with um, Tesla. Tesla. I think that's it. Okay. Again, thank you, everybody. All right. Thank you. Thank you.